Today we're going to talk about algebraic expression and I'm going to break down into its simple form. So let's get into it. So algebraic expression is divided into five parts, which I'm going to just list on this side, which is number system, products, refactorization, and the last section of it is fractions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take each section and break down them into like it's small topics that you can find in each section. Now starting with number system, right? So first with number systems, it's broken up into three type of questions that they can ask you in the test, which is the first one is to pick whether an expression or a number is rational or irrational. The second one is basically writing a number that is decimal into a fraction. They can ask you to round off for estimating thirds. So now moving to products and the type of questions that they can ask you. So the first one that you need to know is, is multiplying a monomial and a binomial. The second one is multiplying two binomials. Third one is basically multiplying a binomial and a trinomial. Then lastly, multiplying three binomials. So now we're going to to factorization. What is factorization? It's basically the reverse of product. There's a couple of uh, methods that you need to know so that you can ace the sections and I'm just going to list them down, right? One, know how to find the common factor. Second one is factorizing by grouping pairs. Then you have difference of two squares. Then you're going to have factorizing a, a quadratic trinomial. Then you have the last one, which is sum and the difference of cubes. So now we're going to talk about fractions, right? And with fractions divided into three sections. The first section is you understanding the rules of a fractions and simplifying if you're given like a fraction on how to simplify it. And I'll just put an example on what do I mean, right? Then we move to, we move to multiplying and dividing a fraction. Then lastly, it's addition and subtraction right so now since you know the breakdown of algebraic expression right so what we're going to do is we're going to use the color method and i have a video on that so i'll either put it in the eye or not put it in the description it's basically before studying to basically work on a section, you basically do a test. Then after doing a test from your results, you select the parts that you got wrong and focus on that sections. Then when you're done focusing on that sections, what you do is you basically retake another test to check whether you understand the sections. But lucky for you is that you don't need to set up a test. I already have a quiz on the sections covering all the topics, all the sections that I talked about in algebraic expression. And basically I'm going to walk through with you and basically also give you like tools, which is going to be my course on if you get a section wrong, what to do. Now let's just, let's get on with it, right? So you do your quiz, after doing your quiz, you're gonna say view your score. Or you're gonna see the fact that you're gonna get your result. So I split it down the result into its sections, the topics that I talked about, which is number system, which is product, which is factorization, and lastly, which is fractions. And you can see the fact that through the results that I took a quiz, is that you can see the fact that the topics that I'm having problem from this example is the following. It's going to be a binomial. It's going to be products and factorization, right? And under that, we see the fact that multiplying a binomial, I've got like a total zero. But the second section, which is multiplying a binomial, I've got like three out of two, right? Right? Meaning I understand it halfway. And I see under factorization, the two sections, which is factorizing a common factor and also factorizing grouping in pairs, I've got total zero. So what you're going to do according to the color method is that you're going to start with the ones that you did badly in our case it's what is product which is multiplying a monomial and a binomial that one i've got a total zero and also it's factorization those two you're going to start with that one right so we're going to start with product first so with product what you're going to do is you're going to go under my course then under my course the nice thing is that how i arrange this video and how i arrange the quiz and also how I arrange the program is the same way. So under the course, right, under this course, which is creating um, equations and inequality, right, which is that you're going to go under the section that you got wrong and the product, which is multiplying a monomial and binomial, right? And as you can see on the side, these are the lessons that the type of questions that you can get under this, right? So you're going to do that whole section. And the nice thing is that when you do a video lesson, it has a quiz. So you don't need to wait at the end to check whether you understand. You can do, you can watch a video. Then after watching a video, you can test yourself on whether you understand. Then you're going to do that. Finish the whole section. 
And obviously you're going to know whether you understand or not. And this is through the quiz that you were doing while watching a lesson, then doing a quiz and watching a lesson. Then after that, obviously the second section was factorization that you got like a zero or really bad mark. You're going to go under the playlist, under the site, you're going to go to factorization common factors because that was the one that was giving you a problem. You're going to do the entire lesson. It's going to be a video, a quiz, a video and a quiz. And again, you don't need to wait later on to check whether you understand because while doing it, while watching a video, since you can do a quiz under it, you can see whether, okay, am I understanding or not, right? Then you're going to do the same thing with factorization for grouping, go to the lesson plan, do the entire thing, watch a video and a quiz. Then you're going to go to the last one, which you've got like more or less an average or 60%. And you're going to do that section last. You're going to do the entire thing just to check whether you understand or not. Doing the sections that you got wrong while doing the quiz. Now you're going to test whether you understand fully, which you're going to do that by doing what? By doing a past paper question, right? And a past paper question, the nice thing is in quiz form. And as I said, the fact that the questions are from past papers. So you're basically practicing at the same time, right? Then after that, you, when you're done doing the quiz, obviously it's going to mark you, you're going to get your score, like how you got your score for the first one, right? Then after getting your score, let's say the fact that, ah, uh, you basically feel like you don't know what you're doing wrong. You have followed everything that I've said here and you'll be like, I'm still not getting what I need. One just to add, to put it out there while watching the lessons and also doing the quiz. And if you feel like you're confused or you need some clarification, there is a discussion button. So you can press that and basically ask me any question whenever you like need any like clarification, right? So that's the one thing. And let's say you have done that. You've asked me questions during the lessons that you watched and you still feel like, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I feel like I need to talk to her and she can give me advice. The nice thing is that there is a 30 minutes free consultation for students that I've purchased this course, right? Is that you can book an, you can book an appointment with me. You can go under the past paper, the past paper of algebraic, under the lesson. It's going to be under the memos. It's that there's going to be consultation time. You can basically book free, book your consultation, and we can basically figure out a way on how you can basically do better. Maybe, I don't know, it could be anything, but you have the luxury of basically booking an appointment and we can discuss it so that we can have a way forward or that you can achieve your goals because that's my priority, right? So that's basically how it would work, right? After you basically knowing the breakdown, doing the course, um, doing the quiz, and now finally basically knowing on how to improve, right? So um, with that said, the um, the course is very affordable. My goal is to make everything very really affordable. So the course falls, what you call this equations and inequality, which is I say the fact that it's, it's, it's a two part of it, which even next week's work is part of going to be part of this course. This this course is going to be 150 and it's not per month it's once off it's 150 once off so you're going to have access to the course till you write your december right which is pretty cool and as i said the fact that if you purchase the course and you're struggling with the section in that course you can basically consult with me which i feel like is pretty nice right so it's 150 per <laughs> 150 ones off and you have access to the topic till you rise at the end which is in december and again is that let's say before you want to purchase you basically maybe want to talk to me maybe you want me to give you tips or maybe you want me to tell you which topics to basically start purchasing or maybe you just want us to stretch your dice looking at your situation on how to do well in math I have some great news for you is that I have a free consultation, even if you're not under my course, but the free consultation has rules, right? And I'm just going to write the rules on the side, right? So these are the rules, right? So you can basically, before you purchase, we can talk about on which topic you're basically struggling with and how to approach so that you can meet your goal. So that's that. So with that said, because there's so much that I said here is that the link to this week's quiz, right, which is going to be for grade 10s, is going to be exponents, right, and 
uh, equations and inequality, meaning um, yeah, equations and inequality solving for X and all that, it's going to be down in the description. And also this quiz for algebraic expression is going to be in the description. And also uh, for free consultation, if you're not before you want to purchase, right, for free consultation, it's going to be here in this description and also the link to buy this course is going to be in the description because you can purchase it and i can enroll you immediately so that's all guys that's all i wanted to say i hope this helps and i hope that it makes a difference as i said the fact that i'm here to help and i'll see you guys next week to discuss uh, the next sections of grade 10 pure meds bye